Thank you for tuning in to Mind Food, where we feed your mind different topics and ways to think. Today, 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 we're going to talk about the etheric plane. Let's dive into it. There is an unlimited amount of energy and power constantly flowing down into our reality. From the highest levels of divinity, each and every person have the access to tap into this ability and use it for whatever purpose they desire. Those of us with a more disciplined mind know how to magnetize greater power and use this power for whatever purpose that's needed. With the unlimited cosmic power of the universe, anything and everything is possible. It's possible. Let me ask you a question. If you had unlimited power, what would be the first thing that you apply it to? I need for you to write this down. What would be the first situation that you would change for the better. Well, my uncle Reverend Ike say, this is some news that you can use. You're trying to get your life into divine harmony, right? Listen up, keep your mind wide open for what you're about to download right now. Man, did you know if you change your mindset from scarcity to abundance, you can change your whole paradigm right now? Let me blow your mind as believed so experienced. I'm sorry. I feel like we put limitations on ourselves when we believe in fate and karma. That's the dogma of yes, the years and what the older generations put on you, like superstition. Unlearn all of that and just know it's your birthright to win. You think that your umbilical cord got cut for you to go through hard times, for you to go through aches and pains and suffering and heartbreak and no. It's your birthright to win. It's your birthright to have abundance, happiness, good health, great vision, great taste, great sight, great feet, great knees, great hips, great elbows, great eyes, great hearing. Those outdated ideals are self-limiting, I promise you. Energy flows through creation and the only limits and barriers we create is with our own perception of reality. The limitations that we do put on ourselves come from tightly held beliefs. Tell me I'm wrong. Peep the scenario. This guy wants to play a movie from off of his laptop onto his big screen TV. He tries to plug in his HDMI cord. It was not working for him. He calls me. He's like, man, I'm trying to play this movie from off my laptop onto my flat screen. My HDMI cord's not working. I don't know what to do. Why can't it play? I said, well, all you have to do is get a USB flash drive, flash, take the movie, drag it onto the flash drive, play the flash drive, the back of the, the flash screen, it's gonna play the movie. He told me, if my HDMI cord is not working, it's not gonna work. So what do you do? When you got your mindset on a certain way, and if it's not working the way you want it to work, the problem, then you think you got the problem solved, but the problem could be solved another way because I told you the easier way to do it. But instead of you want to listen to what the way I'm trying to explain to you and accept it, you want to go against the grain and say, if it's not this way, it's no way. So it's the same way with the universe. The universe is trying to give you a new way of creating your life. But are you willing to accept a new way? Or are you going to say, if it's not this way, it's not going to work? Are you open to trying something new? Or would you walk away holding on to your problems tightly with stubborn arms? 